One day in Spokane County, a headless body belonging to a woman was found on the south bank of a river. Later, her head was located in a vacant lot, but 37 years later, and she still hasn't gotten her identity back. The Jane Doe was nicknamed Millie by investigators, and theories run wild about who killed her and who she was. Let's cover her story now. On the 20th of June 1984 in Spokane County, the nude body of a female was discovered on the south bank of Spokane River, about a mile west from TK Minnick Bridge. She had been sexually assaulted and sodomized with a blunt object. Her arms were dismembered at the midpoint of her wrists and her legs were cut off at the mid-calf level. Her hands and feet were never recovered. Her head was also removed. On the 18th of July, 1984, a single hand was found by a dog. DNA and fingerprints were taken before the severed hand was misplaced and lost. The prints were not linked to anyone in the FBI system, and the hand was not proven to belong to Millie via mitochondrial DNA testing. Fourteen years after the body of Millie was discovered, on the 19th of April, 1998, a skull was found on the vacant lot at 7th Avenue and Sherman Street in Spokane. The skull belonged to Millie and this was verified by DNA testing and tool markings. Millie's cause of death was beating and stabbing, but from examining the skull it was learned that she suffered sharp force trauma on the right side of her head and neck. She also had blunt force trauma that fractured her mid face and bottom jaw. This could have resulted from a single blow that caused her face to smack into a hard surface. To simplify it, Millie had been stabbed multiple times in the neck and head had her head smashed into a hard surface, had been sexually assaulted and had her body cut into pieces. All these injuries except for the dismemberment had occurred at the time of her death. At first, Millie's age was put between 18 and 24 years old, but more recent information puts her age between 16 and 35 years old. In the autopsy, there was evidence that indicated that the Jane Doe had given birth at least once during her lifetime. It's thought she had blonde hair, and it's not known what her eye colour is. She wasn't found with any clothes, accessories, or jewellery. Her height was anywhere from 5'3 to 5'7. It was thought that she weighed around 130 pounds. Her race was Caucasian, and it's believed she had died only days prior from being discovered. Other identifiers are that she had a scar on her upper left arm, two moles on her neck, a gap between her front teeth, blonde body hair, and a scar on her left knee. There is also a report that states she had another scar that was present on her right knee, but it's not verified. She also had an underbite. In the year 1984 and after, 20 female sex workers were killed, seven of which have been confirmed to have died at the hands of Gary Ridgeway also known as the Green River Killer. There isn't any solid evidence linking Gary to the Spokane County Jane Doe's death, but with the timing and location, it remains a possibility. Two days after Millie's body was found, the body of a 30-year-old named Debbie Fernand was located. She had been stabbed and there was evidence of sexual activity. Debbie was clothed, however. She wasn't dismembered and she wasn't disposed in a body of water. Debbie was also local to the area. It's thought Millie wasn't a local. Debbie's case is also unsolved, but she's thought to be a victim of another serial killer named Robert Lee Yates. Robert killed at least 11 people between 1975 and 1998 in Washington. He targeted prostitutes, but he committed his known murders with a gun. Millie may be a victim of one of these serial killers or even an unknown serial killer, but without more evidence, it only remains a theory. With the dismemberment and overkill, it suggests that Millie knew her killer. Investigators also believe that she knew her killer well. The reason is because of the efforts to prevent identification. 
This might be because the killer is linked to Millie or that her fingerprints are on file somewhere. This is all speculation, however. Until we find out that Jane Doe's identity, it's likely her case will remain unsolved. Millie was likely a mother, and somewhere out there, there is a family who was missing her. Let's hope sometime in the near future, Millie's case will get a break and the killer will be exposed for the monster he is. But until then, Millie's case will remain unsolved. But hopefully, one day, the Spokane County Jane Doe will reclaim her name. I created this channel on the 1st of April 2018 in hopes of covering unheard cases and shedding light on unidentified Jane and John Doe's. Some of the older cases I've covered have updates to them now, and thankfully a few of the Jane and John Doe's now have their names back. I'm considering making videos on these cases again to give you guys the updates. Let me know what you think about that. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.